Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Give me a second. The purpose of my content is to simply, right now, I I feel like it's to gain confidence in in my skills. Confidence for what? Confidence in my execution, really. Like I I say I could do a lot of stuff. I say I do stuff, and like I do it, but like. I'm never, I don't think I'm ever truly, genuinely as consistent as I can be because, like, of, of mental blockages that I experience, like, halfway in the process. Why is it always halfway? Because, you know, you start to overthink at some point, right? You start to have hiccups. Oh, it's not going as you planned. You're not getting the outcome you wanted in the set time frame that you want and stuff like that, you know? Do you have a system to identify where you are like are you setting small goals to hit as you go like how do you how do you um analyze or review your process like what's your film process like you play a game then after the game you know whatever you got a day in between that you just take to yourself now you go back to the film to rewatch the game I think right now, I don't think I've ever had one because for the longest, I've been making content just as a means of like as an expression. Like I would just express like I wasn't I didn't I wasn't really aiming at anything or I didn't really have a strategy in place or I would kind of just post whenever I wanted to versus like being like, yo, I'm going to post Monday, Wednesday reels. I'm going to post reels Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. In between those days, I'm going to do stories and maybe a carousel on this day or I'm going to take advantage of this trend going on or not even trend, but like I'm going to take advantage of this going on right now and use that to my like I didn't I wasn't really thinking from a. I was thinking for a long time from an artist mindset versus like a content creator mindset, but it's also because I didn't want to be a content creator. I just happened to be good at creating content because I was like I was trying to promote all all my art stuff, all my other things that I'm really passionate about. Does that does that make sense? It does. And this is why people say niche down. But what they're really saying is, what I'm saying is, it's not about a niche. It's about your why. You again, you become directionless when you do something because you're just good at it. Like that's great. It's like being really, really good at words or rap or whatever. Yeah. You just rap and you say a bunch of really intelligent bars together but no one likes their music. It's just like, you're just showing off in a way. It becomes a meaning, meaningless um, feat. Yeah. So what is it that you want to accomplish? Like, what is it? I think currently right now, I want to say, yo, I got a brand deal through my content. So, so your, if I could your be, first step is to... Just land any deal. I don't care how big or small. It's just to be like, yo, I had a strategy. I, I executed content and from it gave and from this it gave me something and my way to and when I get these deals I kind of want to cultivate being more than a content creator if that makes sense I want to get into these spaces and places use content as a means and way to pro, like to bring in my art to bring in uh, you know my director hat into certain spaces and places does that make sense yep you want a foundation. Yeah. And so you're really saying you do this for freedom. That's what you're really getting uh, at. Yes. But you get, that gets convoluted because there aren't any set checkpoints. So as you move forward, there needs to be something small in between. So like a film day where you go back and you assess, okay, this is working well for me and this is leading me further into the direction of my freedom. Oh, okay. Like a re- like review, like, okay. Like you posted a, like that. So that's what I'm doing. So right now, so this first strategy, okay. Cause I wasn't, I got, I don't think I was understanding. So currently I have, okay. The month for the month of April, there's, I already have a calendar in place. And then like, I'm going to see the, the content I batched. I'm going to post every other day whatever the case well whatever whatever and then at the end of the month i'm gonna see which videos did good which videos didn't why like i edited this like certain videos a certain way to be like maybe this style is good maybe this style is not 
like I'm gonna be posting certain videos where it's maybe a highly edited and there's gonna be other videos that are gonna be like like this like I'm sure out of this video right now that we're recording it's gonna be a part that I'm gonna like I'm gonna be like I'm just gonna throw it out there and see how it, you know how people how people react to it so I can see what type of thing works best for me because I only at the end of the day I'm only doing things that I want to which is a lot of things but I have to to get a more clear idea how are people reacting to the thing to certain things that I want to do does that make sense so what I think you said there for me what I hear is that's the that's your macro right that's the meta side of things this yeah. is the bigger overarching thing what I want you to get to is the micro like your zoomed in piece so if you cast the net out right mm -hmm. you might grab all this stuff but on a micro level you notice the patterns of the thing right yeah so it's not what like what's the rhythm kind of it's like it's it's not just the rhythm because you you know what works yeah like even if the numbers aren't there quite yet mm -hmm. that doesn't matter like you've got the formula down yeah so eventually once you tweak into your purpose then it's going to take off because people will resonate mm -hmm. 100 percent, it'll be undeniable uh videos or content or yeah. context so i'm what i'm asking is not to go back and review what's working for your analytical side to go back and look at like am i speaking to the brands am i drawing in the opportunities that i quite want mm, okay am I I'm, even, I'm seeing. you know what i'm saying like am i going am i, am I aligning with the brands that i say i want to Align Am I with. allowing them in? Am I really pulling this thing down to be like, this is why you should work with me? Not directly saying that to them, but just yeah. like showing them, not telling them why I'm a great option. Mm. Right? You discuss, you fall, I, I believe that you, you align with, you call in, you allow in what you are. You attract, essentially. Right? But I think a lot of people pull the thing towards them, and then once it gets close, they repel it because you got you get into that space where you just stop. So the moment where tension hits, right, getting ready to make the diamond, yeah. you just never hit the thing. You get all the way right here, then you be like, I'm tired of doing this. Literally. And then you go away. But it's almost like a subconscious thing where you know you're about to take off, so you just distract yourself, like right before the thing. Yeah. Because you're afraid of success. You're not afraid of failure. It's the other way around. It really is the other way around. Cause it, so you know what? Why? Because it, it is a great responsibility to be successful. Like, it's a great responsibility when you just get to that point of, like, I achieved this. I'm here. I'm working. Let's say, I don't know, for example, I'm working with Adobe now. And they and not only do they want me to promote their products, they want me to be the, the head, the face of it. I don't know. I'm just throwing some random shit out there, right? And it's just like, oh... Then it feels like I almost have to tailor myself a certain way to to Why do you feel that way? It feels like I gotta stay in good grace. As is it's just me it's really if I'm being real with you, it's just a lot of assumptions that I make within my own head. Cause no one has ever told me like you gotta be this way in order to do X, Y, and Z. Right? Cause if we look at, at the grand scale of things, right? Or we take a good look at social media, who who's landing these partnerships, none of these people have to change who they really are at the end of the day. So it's like, why do I feel? It's a sense of like, I'm casting judgment on myself before, like I cast judgment on myself before anybody or any brand or anything could cast judgment on me to tell me this is why we we we're cutting you off or this is why we don't want to work with you or whatever the case. Does that make sense? I think it's the most dangerous place to be in because it becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. If you consider that this will eventually happen you create the thing that will happen because yeah. you are so afraid of it happening that you just you start to pinpoint and connect dots that were not they wouldn't have been there but it's because there's something deeper there so instead of saying oh you know i have to be this person once i get this thing it's something you're afraid of people finding out is what it sounds like but it's like what am i afraid of people finding what if like you're right. I'm not saying you're wrong, but it, so but what what is, what is it? Do I you, can't tell you because it's like uh, it's like two versions of me, right? It's who I am presently. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> it must be six thirty. Um, but no, damn, yo, I lost my train of thought. Do you remember the last three words I was saying? 
I'll just repeat the question. No, no, okay, I remember. Okay. It's a self fulfilling prophecy. Yep. It is because it's like I. It's almost like I, what, what's come to mind is like I'm afraid to be seen. Like, it's like I have, okay, my thing is I have no doubt on my, and there's no shadow of doubt in my mind that I could really be who I am. Right? But it's just like, oh, when you get to that space, it's like, you're afraid to be seen for who you are too. It's, it's the weirdest thing ever. Cause like you're, I'm okay with me being me, but I think it's almost like, are you, I am, or are you, are you okay with who you are when no one's looking at you? I'm okay. No, I'm, I'm okay with being me, but this like, it gets into a point of like when other people see me, it feels like I have to duck. Right. Yeah. So when you add another person, so you okay, you're comfortable, isolated. I'm great isolated. Right. But that's only a percent a percentage of the human experience. Like we we could live our lives isolated. Yeah. But eventually you're going to always crave connection. Connection, um, expansion, elevation. Yeah. The only way that you do that is if you tangle with other people. Like that's the point of the human experience. Yeah. But what you're saying is you're protecting yourself. So like, there's something that has happened, just or just the letdown or the oh yeah, being, just being judged for who I am. But I think everybody's judged. I think you judge yourself. So it's it's not just judgment. It's the you, fear of disappointment. I know exactly almost. what it is for me. What? So there was just a point where I had a mentor. They were kind of. I'm going to use, for lack of a better word, famous. Mm-hmm. And I felt like one time they had crucified me, and it turned into, like, one day I was loved, and the next day everybody hated me for just me being who I am. And it was always like they felt like I wasn't being me, which started questioning, like, me being me. I'm like, nigga, like, I, this is who I am, the way I talk, the way I speak, the music I listen to. Like, and if I'm... And, you know, maybe subconsciously I have picked up certain cues, of, right? Because when you were, you're spending time with somebody, you're studying somebody, you kind of pick up certain things. But it was never done intentionally or on purpose. So this one time, somebody was, they just put me in, like, clubhouse. It was lit one time. You know when clubhouse was lit? <laughs> it was a, they put me in a clubhouse and kind of singled me out and was on some, like, nigga, like, like, fuck you, like be yourself and I'm just like huh like where well first of all where's this energy coming from secondly Mm. like what are you talking about be you this is who I am like no one's okay so I got I got two things from that right yeah so so let's say you were ostracized for no reason right which I felt which I felt was for no reason yeah yeah this is trash whatever right that was that was the one thing that happened what is causing you to relive the experience of that even though it has passed trauma it's just trauma i think it yo at because no cap after that i think i went through the darkest times of my life up until recently like i'm recently i feel like i'm finally like i've gained confidence i finally feel better i feel like i've reconnected with my light again but after but literally right before the pandemic that thing happened and it just spiraled me into like a state of crazy depression for a really long time i feel like my confidence was crushed or my identity was crushed because of that did i answer your question yeah you did and and now my follow-up to that is what is what is something that has allowed you to be rooted in who you are no matter what isolation around you okay but that's that's like if forest and a tree fall like if a tree in the oh, forest yeah, falls, did it really fall did or it not really fall? Did you hear? Yeah. that's like that type of crap i said yeah. it backwards it was just nah. if a forest falls <laughs> <laughs> if a forest falls to the tree did the tree hear it <laughs> but no seriously isolation is an answer that's yeah. one of the versions of the thing you could do but that's not going to fulfill you or make you happy and you know that it's going to drag you into darkness into a depression. i'll say this art like art made me happy like content made me happy uh everything i'm doing now like creativity as a whole allowed me to heal and to like really you know uh get into a better space which is why i'm so happy about like being a multi-hyphenate creative because it wasn't just one thing that made me 
put the pieces together to who I am, it was a bunch of creative things that painted Ruben today. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I healed. It wasn't because of therapy. It wasn't because of other people. Like, all these things played a part. But I really genuinely healed because I was allowed to self-explore and self-discover through the power of creativity. So, what I hear is you have the courage now. So, through having that fearful experience, right, on the other side of it, you found your courage. So, it needed to happen so that you would get here. Yeah. But now that you're here, you're in the courage space. Why not just share what you just said? <laughs> Vulnerably, because so many people can relate to that thing. Yeah. And that's the thing that will make people draw in and be honest to what you're saying. The context to what you're doing adds value to why I would listen to you. Like, you got the formula down, it looks cool, edited well, sounds well, great. Even, like, the consistency of it, like, it may inspire someone to be consistent, but, like, that doesn't quite make me want to join in and be a part of your community or join in and connect to you because I don't know the context. Like, why are you even creating, And dude? And people don't want to say why. You don't necessarily have to go into deep, dark secrets of life. But yeah. saying that you were in a space of darkness because you allow the external to ostracize you that this thing could be taken from you. Your thing can't be taken from you. What you have in you, no one can take. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, that thing was, you felt outside of you at the time. Yeah. Enough to make you like crumble down and disappear. Yeah. Right? So that you got to go lick your wounds and heal and then figure out who you really are. Yeah. In a sense. Who you truly are at your essence is not able to be crushed by anyone Amen. so the courage of it how do you get to the courage of it that's what you talk about and it doesn't have to be that always yeah but the honesty behind that is the relatability that people are looking for they're looking for honesty because mm. everybody's saying the same thing it's the same regurgitated version with a different face on it yeah and it's like yeah okay this is what I'm doing every day you know I'm consistent I'm executing. I'm letting you into my life, kind of. Yeah. Because you're not really saying why. You're not really saying nothing. Yeah, the, the why is not prevalent. It's like your why is like, you want a brand deal. That's macro. Yeah. On a very, like, intimate level, micro level, your why is freedom, but you need courage to be free. There's no way for you to be free, because that means you could do what you want. You get to choose. Meaning, good and bad, I have the freedom to choose. A lot of people don't want to choose incorrectly, so they'll just follow the pack. They'll just jump into the group. So you don't quite ever separate yourself from the thing. It's always the a version of it that you kind of take pieces off of and just, just to play it safe enough. Just to safe enough. Just so you won't quite shake the table so nothing quite goes wrong. And you'll yeah. have harder days, but like at least... You safe enough or stable enough to where this is this is not like earth shattering because I was hurt before, so the trauma wins like it just repeats you. itself. So you start off really well, strong, cool. These people don't know me, they don't know what I'm going through. I've recreated my identity. I get to shift and do something new. New will eventually become familiar, meaning community will acquire, they'll assemble, and then. Right when people start to look, you don't want them to look no more. I know. So facts. then you disappear again, but it's harming you. It is. People are looking you. for you. You're calling them in. You're allowing them in, but not all the way. Not quite. Damn. Wow. So the courage of it. How do you cultivate courage? That's in, a, into your daily. Into my daily routines or my daily or whatever. In, Even in your I'm, review points yeah. at the checkpoint, am I being courageous? Or am I just making content? I think that that'll help you continue because now you know, it's more important. That's good. My hand cold as hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened? I said my hand cold as yeah, hell. Wait, you you, wait, you wait, wait. need some iron. <laughs> we need to get you some iron. Pills. I do. I swear to God. <laughs> but yo, that's so good. That's such a great way to like. That's such a great way to, like, no, excuse me for a lack of, like, 
no, you intellect don't. right now, but fuck analytics. It's really like your why. My why. It might be okay. It's been a month now. Let me review the content. Was uh, this was a lot of courage, but was it courageous enough? It's such a great way to review yourself, yo. That's so good. Cause you you really you're doing lifestyle content, right? You wanna you want to be paid for being yourself. A hundred percent. Right. So if that's the case then that's truth. <laughs> that's saying, I'm going to be honest. I'm not feeling it today, y'all, and this is why I think I'm feeling like this. Mm. Somebody can relate to that. You you may not, you know what I'm saying? It may be, like, curated, and, and you may not say, like, you don't got to no, overshare. Mean. Yeah. But, like, there's a difference between when I know somebody being honest, you could just feel that, you get the chills, Yeah. versus somebody that's, like, telling a story about a time that, this thing bothered them and you know maybe that'll help but it's not as like connected it's a difference which is why the storytellers that like write books can make you tear up some people have the ability to like write a story yeah. now you don't even hear them talking you're imagining their voice or a voice and then it it moves you to something so versus good. someone talking and then you just feel absolutely nothing but they look at me dead in the face technically yeah there's a disconnect so if you want to be honest, then that that's going to take courage. And that's like a that's where you get the meaningful uh brand deals and such. Because now it's about mental health and physical health and spiritual health. Now you go into why and the, your, the things you use to cultivate your brain to keep your sanity, to keep yourself upbeat and in routine and why you eat this way. And how you allow yourself to have an extra snack every now and then because you need a cheat day because it's, you know, it's about enjoying yourself too. Like, you don't want to be so perfect that you don't get an opportunity to... To be you. I can't eat a Kit Kat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, now now people can come in here and feel like, all right, I'm at home. I'm going to kick my feet up and I'm going to kick it with, with Ruben. Not like I'm following another person on online another internet dude sheesh like don't nobody want to more of that revelations man maybe in the middle of their finding themselves yeah. that they'll follow follow a few but like not everybody when you are actually intentful with what you're building from that standpoint from a micro standpoint the macro will take care of it so but if you go macro and you only think about like even money or vanity metrics and accomplishment you will cultivate fear because you're going to get exactly what you're asking for. Yeah. But the why won't connect and then it'll feel terrible. So yeah. now you feel like you got to be another person to withhold it and uphold it because you created that on the way up. You created this thing from this standpoint just to get the thing. And now you want them to stay for who you are. <laughs> huh? That's I'm, not who they signed up with. <laughs> yo. I don't care about who you are. I want you to sell my product. Yo. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, a tough that's thing. Good. They're like, what the fuck? Like, and then a lot of people can be offended by it because it's like, what? You don't care about real people, but it's like, every now and then you'll get a brand or a company that, like, you know, yeah, we we got in here because it is. Like, you lured me in here. Now let me know who you are. But a lot of brands now, yeah, they just don't care about that. They're trying to survive, just like everybody else is. That so was... it's like, if you got a following, we want the following. Yeah, that's good though. What you just mentioned, man. It's making me rethink everything I've created so far. But honestly, at the same point, no, because it's like, no, it's, you, it's okay to execute and just pivot. Because it's just information. I want to jump through this roof right now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I played it off cool as hell. No. But you're scared of. My God. bad. <laughs> I swear to God. I was like, I ducked. Like, like my body didn't move, but on the inside, yeah, of my whole body was like, <laughs> I want to jump through the roof because, yo, you're just talking and it's just like, <laughs> My bad, I'm so sorry. No, you good. You ain't got to apologize. I just know how to stay stoic, but I swear to God. I'm Yo, inside. I'm just like... You would never know I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> During anything that's wild, bro. I get